There's just not enough bass in music these days. I mean, you can go on YouTube and find bass boosted versions of songs, but YouTube doesn't have every song because of copyright or whatever other reason. And it's not just having a lack of bass because you're using a set of earbuds so cheap you have to buy them in bulk, but even if you have a set of nice speakers that even has a bass dial, sometimes that dial just doesn't go far enough. So what I'm going to show you today is how to boost the bass in all the audio on your computer, no matter what kind of headphones you have, and you don't even need a sound card to do this. Now, fortunately for this tutorial, we're not going to need any real life tools. We're going to be using a software tool. If you're not a regular follower of this channel, that means we're downloading a program. There's a link in the description. Download this program and get it set up. Now, downloading and installing software can be pretty boring, not gonna lie. So if you want to have fun while doing this tutorial, go ahead and take the processor out of your computer. It doesn't matter if it's an AMD or an Intel processor, but for best results, you should delid your processor so that it looks like this. Because what we're going to do while that program is downloading is we're going to force the bass from this stereo subwoofer into the silicon of this chip. We're going to take the subwoofer like this and we want it to be silicon side down so that all the bass is going into it. Now we're going to play some really bassed up music using that breakaway audio enhancer tool and we're just going to force as much bass into this processor as we can so that all the sound running through it comes out bass boosted. By about now, the program should be done downloading, so here's a few tips on how to get it set up. Once you've downloaded the breakaway setup file, it's time to get it installed. This is the first part you'll see once you've clicked through all the installation stuff. Go ahead and click Next. Choose Safe Mode. Choose here the device that you use to listen with. For most people, it's probably going to be headphones or speakers, something along those lines. Click Test. Click Next. Choose the smallest size here that still sounds good. Open up Control Panel, which takes you to this. And here you need to tell the computer, or Windows, to send all the sound to this program. You'll do that by clicking on Line 1, Breakaway Pipeline, hit Set Default, and click OK. Click Next and finish. Now you have your breakaway program completely set up. Now, there is a distinct lack of buttons and controls here, so we're going to change simple to oscilloscope just by clicking on it, or you can right click to choose here. For bass boost, you're going to want to use the regulator. All these settings have descriptions if you want to fine tune all of those. I recommend turning the numbers to be low single digits. The bass shape controls how much of the bass frequency is amplified, and here you choose how much to amplify it. This is the audio signal going in, and this will be the audio signal coming out. More on that in a minute. The two presets I use the most often are Easy Listening, which is great if you have a home theater PC, because it raises the vocals to where you can understand what they're saying and it's not just over bass where you can't understand anything. And of course you can still adjust the bass dial as well. But for purposes of listening to music and bass boosting it, we're going to leave it on the regulator, which doesn't regulate the audio so much as overindulge on the bass. Alright, now that we have the processor placed on the speaker, Let's go ahead and fire up some tunes for about one hour for, to really make sure the bass gets in there. Generally, after one hour, you get diminishing returns.
there you have it. That's how you add bass to your computer. Hopefully you found this video useful, and hopefully I'll get my hearing back at some point. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and watch one of these other videos that's not quite so full of bass. See you in the next one.